Well, good morning. We are actually back in Beaver's Bend State Park, but today we're gonna try our hand at fishing. Um, as you guys know, we are bass fishermen, and we're gonna be into a world we know nothing about. So uh, I guess we'll have to see how we do. We're on the GoPro today, just because it's a little easier to carry around. So it looks a little different, that's why. Mm -hmm. But let's go try our hand at fishing. <laughs> so you can see I got an open-faced bass fishing reel with four pound tests on it. Lana's got her open-faced, her, uh, her spinny reel with bass line on it. But we did pot tie a little four pound leader to it. So we'll see how this goes. Probably not very well. Got ourselves some orange power bait, little ball things. Got our fishing spot here. How do you think we're gonna do? Well, you know how our luck is with bass fishing and that's the world we've been in for a while. So, maybe a beginner's luck. Yeah. That's a good one, G. Look at him. We didn't get skunked, uh, but we didn't kill him either. No. I got too much reel. Um, the reel is meant for a lot more weight. Uh, with the bait that we're using and like a little clamp on weight, it's not enough to get the reel to turn. So I'll keep, I can't go but 10, 15 feet. It's just not gonna work. So we're gonna try to find a fly fish in the shop now. The first one I caught was a good one. It was. She caught one too. We didn't get it on camera. I couldn't get to the camera fast enough, but uh, they both released themselves when they got to our feet. Yeah, now we know why uh, everyone's walking around with these little baby nets. Yeah, they're so you can't really grab onto them very well. But, anyways, we're gonna go to the fly shop and see if we can't find me a cheap little Zipco or something that might be a little better on casting. Um, and then we're gonna try a different spot. All right, so we're at a new spot. I got me a Zipco rig now, a little cheap, like thirty bucks or less. Uh, got it set up. Lana's already hitting the spot. I guess we'll find out, see if she's done any good. And now we're at spot number three. That last spot, we didn't stay very long because, well, it just wasn't very deep. The water was barely skimming over the rocks. You can tell no one was catching anything. So we're gonna try a new spot. But man, you don't get these kind of views down in Texas. Beautiful. Well, if we don't catch anything, at least it's scenic. Yeah, I guess so. I lost the weight. Well, we're leaving this spot as well. Um, I had one hit, that was about it. No one's really catching anything around us either, so we don't feel too bad about it. Uh, well, all we've eaten today is like a muffin, and it's like two something, so we're kind of hungry. Although we don't want to ruin our steak dinner. So we're gonna try to find a snack in town, see if we can't try something new in town and then go hit our original spot where we caught those two other trout. So that's the game plan, see how it works out. All right, so we went into town to the brewery. What was it called? Mountain Fork Brewery. Mountain Fork Brewery, pretty cool place. Uh, a lot of staff to serve food, not a lot of staff to clean up. <laughs> off the tables. Yeah, but they were very busy. I mean, it is New Year's Eve, so. Well, we got, like I said, a big steak tonight. Uh, so we didn't do much but get queso and a mixed drink. I had the, uh, uh, what, what is it called? Something sour. Whiskey sour. I had a whiskey sour and Lana had a. Uh, raspberry lemonade? Yeah, raspberry lemonade. And hers was really good. Mine was nasty. <laughs> 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 it is what it is. It was still good. I think if I had a few that more of those. That made no sense. It was nasty, but it was still good. At the end, it was good. Mm. Okay. But we're gonna. We're actually at the spillway. Come on, I'll show you.
slick. Oh my gosh, you ripped its lip. Well, I got another one. Actually, another two ones. Two ones? Yep. So I got my three birds a day. How'd you do? I not enjoyed the sights. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to talk about it. But that was a lot of fun. Uh, definitely a different world. I uh, would like to get into actually fly fishing one day, but that was fun. Can't beat a Zepco, huh? No. i tell you what. I watch fly fishers all day long. I didn't see none of them stroking them. And that looks like a lot of work. Hey, so, I caught a couple of good and you ones. You weren't fly fishing though. All the oh. people doing. <laughs> 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 I mean, that's a lot of work. They were not getting rewards. So I think sticking that good old Zebco. push button Zebco never, <laughs> never does you wrong. Hey, can't argue with results, right? No. Nope. Well, the fog is rolling in. Uh, man, we read that online about this place that when the fog rolls in, it does roll in. And it is, what, 448? And it is getting to be where you can't even see the people across the river from you. So. And it's not a big river. <laughs> no, it's not. So it really it really does roll in. But I don't know. I, I would call that a successful day since we don't really know what we're doing. We caught a few. Um, and we're going to go back to the RV and check on the dogs. So... That's the end of day two, I guess. Yeah, end of day two. Well, well I we're, don't know. we're we're gonna cook we'll, steaks. We'll, we'll keep we'll keep it. It's New Year's Eve. It's about to be January first tomorrow, so we're gonna celebrate tonight. So we'll see you back at the the camp. <laughs> Got a campfire going, but the rain just came down, or starting to come down, sprinkling. Uh, but we really can't complain because it's supposed to have rained the whole time we were here, and it hasn't yet, or hardly at all. But guys, check out these steaks that I just got in cooking. They look delicious. Mm, what what kind of butter is that? It is a rose butter, and it is steaks from our local meat market, Yellow Rose Beef Company, and they also make their own rose butter. So it's We're a local have place some to oven vegetables coming out. Yep, and then I got the s'more stuff. Hopefully it'll stop raining long enough for us to, to do some s'mores. And we got the New Year's bash going on the TV and we probably won't make it to midnight, but Well somebody took a little snooze. I did. I did. Although we did make it to midnight last night, so we'll see. Hmm. What do y'all think about it? Hmm? Mom's been singing every song that comes on. What do y'all think about it? She needs to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So good. How is it? So good. This is why we don't even go out to steak restaurants anymore because mm. I'm just that good. You're just that good. Oh, how sweet of you. Mm-hmm. Hey, who wants a New Year's steak? Come oh, here. Bristol doesn't. Come here. <laughs> Charlotte doesn't. Come here. Ooh, they said, ooh, we see the steak. Here. Said, we're tripping over your shoes, Dad. You have to take it off the fork. I will. Who's first, Bristol? Yep. You ready, B? Even though you just threw up. You're welcome. Ooh. New Year's steak. Good girls. They said, mmm, that's delicious. <laughs> How was it, Chardet? Well, I think that's it for tonight. It just started raining. We're going to try to make it till midnight, nope. although I don't think she's going to make it. Not happening. She's already, as you can see, in the comfy position. 
So yeah, there's no doubt about it. I will not be ringing in 2022. Guys, it is sad. It is only 9:40. I've already fallen asleep once, way before that. She did. I had time to have two beers, take the dogs on a walk, start a fire, and then she finally came moseying out the trailer. That fishing, all the fish <laughs> are caught. Well, well, how come we had steak for dinner? You know, catch and release, all that <laughs> conservation. All right, so we're going to finish it out tonight. I hope you guys have a happy new year and be safe tonight, and we will see you in the morning to finish out our time here at Broken Bow. Good night. think of uh, Lake Broken Bow. I don't know. They came here and sat and looked at us like, we rode all this way for this? Kind of cold. We are back in the state park. We seem to keep coming back to this place just because there's so many neat things to do and see. But we're back with the girls this time. Letting them walk around and see the sights since they haven't got to do that yet. They're not really thrilled, but they are. We got a lot of new smells. Uh, we did just see a beaver. We feel like that's kind of cliche since we're in beaver's bend. That's a big swimming rat. <laughs> that's the first one we've seen, you know, because we're from Southeast Texas. We don't really have them down there. So it's kind of neat. Cold. She checked out the water a little bit. It says very cold. Come on. What y'all think, Bristol? I don't know how well you can hear me because of the water you see running, but this reminds us of Table Rock lake up in hot or is it not hot springs branson i uh, see how the, all the formations behind us it's pretty neat of course another beautiful scene here in broken bow Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Driving across the river. Be a good Jeep trail. What's cool about this park is that it's kind of uh, under maintenance. Uh, so there's a lot of areas you're not sure you're supposed to be in because of just a lack of maintenance in it. But there's kind of a lot of cool places like this. Like I had my truck and four wheel drive to get down here. But look at this neat dam. Well, that's it for us in Broken Bow. It is Sunday morning and we are headed out. Uh, I gotta say, getting the trailer ready to tow this morning has been miserable. It literally went from, I think it hit 71 yesterday, 72. Last night it got down to 21 degrees and it is currently 24. See, check this out. 
24. Anyways. It is cold. Cold enough. So we are going to be headed out here back to Texas, but we're- I don't think it's much warmer there. But. No, it isn't. This uh, storm that hit last night is headed this way down there if it hasn't hit already. So uh, we are gonna head home and I like Broken Bow. I did too. It was a good time. Lots of nature -y things to do, which if you guys watch us enough, you know that's kind of our thing. So mm -hmm. anyways, like I said, we're gonna head home. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye.